What's good, Gray Gang? We're out here today. We're actually checking the trail camera, just like I promised, three days later. Right now, we're going to recover the trail camera. Then we're going to go back and check them on my computer. And then after that, we're going to come set the trail camera back, maybe in this spot, maybe in another spot. And then later today, we are going to shoot my bow and make sure it's sighted in. Because bow season, boys, it's getting close. And we're after Bucky. We're probably going to kill a few does this year just because, you know, Kentucky, we're actually having a little doe problem, you know? There's so many cars getting hit that they're actually thinking about maybe changing the limits on does. Simply because so much damage has been caused to cars just by because there's so many deer there's like there's a lot of deer in kentucky i'll tell you that right now here's the trail camera we're just gonna take it off and you know boom go check it but first we gotta photo bomb it all right there you go i heard it click okay that's good now we're just gonna crack open this thing right here turn it on off that way it don't take any more pictures boom let's go home and check that sucker so kendall what are you expecting well i expect to see a few deer we'll see if it's buggy i'm not exactly positive oh my lordy I just tripped over a log. Are you guys okay? Are you okay? You just went like 10 feet up in there and hit the ground. You just smacked your face into the forest floor of the Appalachian Kentucky Mountains. Well, that was a fail, I can tell you that. It's always a good thing whenever you drop a $700 camera. Always. But anyways, here's what happened. Okay, so here I came down here walking very confidently, talking to y'all like nobody's business. Stepped on this log, which then I realized wasn't a log at all. It's basically a trap door. Slid off that. And then I slung y'all way up there. I think it went past the tree, maybe out of Earth's orbit. I ain't sure. But then it came back down right there, and then I picked you up, and here we are now. Just another part of being Kendall Gray. But back to what I was talking about. What do I expect to see? Well, I expect to see a few deer, you know, a squirrel. Maybe possibly an Appalachian skunk ape. But besides that, that's really just a good all-around game trail. It could be deer, squirrels, bobcats, coyotes, people. I don't know. We're just going to go see. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to dive into the pictures. I got the memory card here. I'm going to plug it in, and then we're going to get right on into them. Okay, here we go. We're going to move on to the first ones right here. All right, all right. Pretty, you know, I remember taking that picture. Okay, don't see anything there. Nothing there or there. Okay, now I'm starting to realize that my camera was probably at the worst angle I could have possibly put it at. Nothing there, and boom. That was us today. Guys, I'm really sorry about this. I don't know what happened. Like, I set it at a good angle, and you guys were there with me. It was at a good angle. We checked it today, and it was still at a good angle. But somehow, I guess a skunk ape come up behind it and tilted it up. That's what it was, buddy. He's a stinking skunk ape. Watched me put it up. Then after I set it up and left, he came up behind me. Stuck his stick up and under it to where it was pointing up. That's exactly what happened. I, I promise. I'm not even kidding, guys. That's exactly what happened. And then, boom. Once he heard me fire up the mule day, he went under there, took it out the stick, and boom, there he was. We've been played by a skunk ape. An Appalachian skunk ape. I mean, I guess we're gonna go set it back right now and maybe a better angle this time. So, before I reset this trail camera, I just wanted to give you the real quick chance to join the Grey Gang. Just hit the like button and turn on their notifications, and boom. You're in the gray gang. Now, if you watch the video where I set my trail camera, I was in this spot, and this is the place where I broke, well, the already broke trail camera. Now, there is a tree stand right over there. So, if I do get Bucky on camera, it is very possible to kill him here. Now, there is a really hot trail coming out through here, and it goes out to that field, or it goes down in the woods there. There's actually a feeder right there. There's not been corn in it for two years, which probably doesn't matter, but we're going to set it right here on this tree, pointing right through there, and hopefully, we can get all kinds of wildlife on camera. We'll leave the camera up for three, four days, and if we don't see Bucky by then, hey, we'll mark this area and go scout another location but right now i'm gonna set up this truck camera okay guys i finally got the trail camera set up hey it's pointed exactly where it needs to be and to prove it we're gonna walk over here and let you look at us right, here's the deer it's walking down here here we go the trail camera's right there on that tree guys it's staring right at us if we walk up to it it's looking at us you know it's at the right angle and everything i got a stick back there that way just so that you know it'll be looking at the ground if nothing else you are looking at it right now so if the camera's tilted whenever we check it then boys we know it's a skunk oh i better turn it on right yeah i better turn it on right now there we go. But hey, if the view is tilted whenever you review it, then we know there's a skunk ape in our area. And we may have to call off the bucky chase and go for the skunk ape. But hopefully the skunk ape's not here. The last time I heard, he's in Tennessee. But I'm in Kentucky, so we might be okay. Hopefully we get some pictures. We're going to check it in in three days. But hey, right now the video's not over, boys. We gotta go make sure my bow's sighted in. So first, we're going to start at 10 yards. Make sure that my first pin is dialed in on 10. Instead of aiming on the center, we're actually going to be aiming on this target right here, alright? Aim small, miss spot. And if my arrow's off, up, or down, or left left or right it'll still be okay and it won't hit the gravels like it did last time but yeah we're gonna be aiming at that one right there right now at this moment i'm standing at 10 yards you're gonna pull back sling two arrows if it's good it's good we'll move on back to 15 if it's not good then i don't know bros we may have to make a little bit of adjustment now we'll sling the second one 
Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little off, but I know I'm still sighted in. All right, so that one was perfect. On this one, my sights were sort of floating a little bit right up here. So, you know, that's pretty good. That is where the sights were aiming. But yeah, I did mess up. But the sights are actually on for 10 yards. Let's go back to 15. Maybe use your second pin. See if we can do about the same thing. Now, I'm just gonna use my range finder to make sure I am at 15 yards. And, yep, we're good. We're at 15. Now I'm just gonna sling two arrows at it, and hey, see if we're sighted in with my second pin down. Here we go. Okay, well, not too great, to say the least, but, you know, there one, there one, there. I was aiming right here with my second pin. Both of them were high. We're gonna go back, do the same thing, shoot at 15 yards a second. Now we're gonna use my 10-yard pin, because my 10-yard pin may be good for 10 and 15, or maybe 10, 15, and 20. I'm not sure. We'll just have to shoot and see. This is by far the worst part about shooting my bow trying to dig this thing out of the bow target, especially when they get pretty deep in there. Now, I'm still at 15 yards, but I'm going to use my 10-yard pin, which is my first pin, and, well, yeah, see how it works. That was a good shot right there, ain't gonna lie. So this time, you know, we hit maybe, I don't know, like maybe half an inch low, but I'm gonna call that good. So now I know that my first pin is good up to 15 yards. Now we're gonna step it back to 20 yards and see if it changes from there. What I'm thinking is gonna happen is whenever I step back to 20 yards, I'm gonna have to use my second pin. But that's just what I'm thinking. We're just gonna have to shoot to find out. Now we're all the way back to 20 yards, but I'm still gonna test out my first pin. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm still gonna test it just in case. You never know. Great gang, I actually think I'm wrong. Yeah, now I'm starting to remember. My first pin's good up to 20 yards, but then 25 and 30 is my second and third pin. So it actually drops off fairly quick after you get to 25 yards. But here's what we're gonna do. Since I'm not necessarily in bow shooting shape, I'm gonna stay at 20 yards and just keep slinging arrows. If I go back to 30 yards, then I'm gonna start shaking and I'm gonna start straining. Right now, it's just a fact. I'm not in shape to really shoot my bow. So I'm just gonna stay here at 20 and get me a good little workout. Do y'all even like this kind of video? If we can get 3K likes on this video, I'll do another one where I check the camera again. And maybe this time, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a skunk cape. You never know. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.